and it's Animation Episode 1. Today's episode, Rumiko Takahashi's Anthology, Primal Need. So apparently Takahashi is the guy who does uh, Inuyasha and all that shit. So apparently this here anthology is about uh, some sort of it's like normal life, but it's like this set in... Get the shit out of here! Uh, it's set in like this comedic sense. It's like a dark comedy. So apparently, that would be really good, because yeah, I like dark... I wish Meatwater was Japanese. Dogs aren't allowed. Did you not just read Article 17? Are you fucking stupid? Calm down, bitch. I didn't ask you shit. But see, that wouldn't that wouldn't happen if he had one of those little toys. You know, the, it hits the wall and fucking rolls back. See, that's stupid. What? Pito. He told me, I have to head back to the U.S. Can you babysit Pito while I'm gone? So, I said... What? And you agree to it? It's a favor for a big client. And Coda seems to really like him, too. We can't. The resident association has been really strict about enforcing the no pets rule. Yay! Just for a week. <laughs> Easier said than done. <laughs> The tragedy of P. What is it, Mom? What do you want, bitch? I'm trying to put on my shoe. Wow, you're pretty good on your feet. Yeah, I guess so. I don't think he understands English or Japanese, ma'am. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Back, back! What the shit? Um, let me, let me just, uh, let me just, uh, go ahead and, and mark this here. This. This is happening. Not sure why. I say, Satan! Sardines! Fresh ones, please. Won't you stick your hand on your panties, bitch? His penguin brings all the boys to the yard. If his yard was, you know, his... his Those damn Swedes! His client is the creditor. His dreadlocks of doom will destroy him one day. That'll be his downfall. Ah. What's that sound? It's, it's this is just like that scene in Breaking Bad with Gustavo and uh, Walter. Is there something wrong? No. no where it's just like, <laughs> where he's just gonna fucking kill him, but you don't even realize it. I feel like I've seen a porno with this premise before. Get hit by a train. Get bit, bit by a car. Get hit by a truck. Get hit by something. Come on, double decker. Come on, double decker. Come on, double decker. Come on, double decker. Come on. Come on, double decker. Come on, double decker. Yeah. Cause he's a penguin. Although he peed very happily. <laughs> he peed very happily. 
Can you imagine if you wouldn't? Imagine you're a penguin and you're just taking a piss on the road. I'd feel pretty good. I don't know about you. Bite a hand! Bite it off! Just bite it off! She's a bitch! And you need to bite it off! If you ever want to make it in this town, Rocky! I'll never forget the summer of 89. There was a hooker named Candy. There was a back alleyway that looked very welcoming, yet cold. And she told me one thing before the final blow. No pun intended. She said, you always gotta bite it off to make it big in the city. And she bit my dick clean off. I've been a Munich, a Munich. I've been a eunuch ever since. It's never been so painful to pee out your butt. Uh, but show two, yay. This is supposed to be a very old wedding hall, but it calls itself Romance Hall? What are you supposed to do then? Jesus! There was five of them! It took five of them! Just as pain! Oh, hate club! Oh, I thought hate club's dead! <laughs> There's Zandig. Nobody does this to Zandig! <laughs> freelance contractor. Oh, I'm a freelance contractor turned ordained minister. Once I found Jesus, there was no turning back. <laughs> Merchant of Romance. Merchant of Romance. Look at my Hawaiian shirt. I'm so cool. Look at my messy hair. Oh boy, I smoke. Cause I'm a cool guy. <laughs> he had a big heart. A little too big. Some people say that he'd lost his heart in the war. I like to think he lost his heart with that strange man in the corner of Fourth Street of the Valley. He had a very weird apron, and he never appreciated my jokes. I didn't care for that man, and I'm glad no one did. So when he died, I took a piss on his grave. I joined the war to do nothing but steal babies. And I wore many a polo. And I made a job of the hut out of nothing but soap scum and my own vomit. <laughs> My white shine. Don't touch my tie. It took me 40 days to get this ironed out and to get it perfect. And what are you gonna do? Hey. About your future. How can you say that? You were the one who decided to end it, leaving me behind to pick up the pieces. <laughs> Is there anything I can do to help you, you guy? Anything at all? Anything, anything at all, just name it, just name it, and I'll do it, anything at all, anything at all.
Well, you're a woman. Uh, I'm a sausage! I like corn. Oh, this is episode three. Yeah. They're sending you to Hokkaido, aren't they? Aren't you two coming with me? No way. You can't really expect me to move somewhere new at this stage of my life. And I'm not changing school, so just forget. Yeah, fuck you, Dad. You're a piece of shit. You don't know me. You don't know nothing about me. Fuck you, man. That hot bitch from the pixels. She's coming over here. Oh, she looks like she knows me. Hmm. Hey, Mr. Lee. I'm returning your credit card and all of your money. Please, will you just take it back and forget about last night? Here. She's one of them hookers. Put that dad dick in that kid twats. Yeah, I wouldn't have too much to poke the fun, and yeah, that was over. So I guess we'll do episode two sometime, please.